Hi viewers, today we are going to learn about OOPS concept. So OOPS, so what is OOPS? Nothing but it is object oriented programming language. So we can call it as object oriented programming language. So what is the uses of this one and what are the features it has? So the first one, the features of object oriented programming language. So the first one is the abstraction and second one is the encapsulation. Totally it has four features. The first one is abstraction and second one is the encapsulation and third one is inheritance and the final one is polymorphism. These are the features of object oriented programming language. So what is the usage of this one? So by using object oriented program language, the first one we can provide reusability. In the sense, we can use the existing code again and again instead of recreating, redesigning the same concept. And the second one is providing the security. So providing the security. So how we can achieve these two, we are going to learn one by one. First, in this video, just we are going to learn about abstraction, how we can use the abstraction. So first, let me tell you what exactly abstraction. So abstraction is nothing but hiding the implementation. Hiding the implementation is known as abstraction. What is hiding? See here, so far we have seen so many methods like console.read, console.write line, right? So here, by using this method, you can get the output. So if you are using the write line method, it prints a message on the screen. If you are using the read line method, it reads from a particular input from the uh, screen, right? So by using this, so we can get the output. But how they implement it? So if it is a read line or write line. So there is no way to get the information about the implementation. So that is nothing but hiding the implementation. So see here when we are using the read line method. So there is a mechanism. So he is reading the value and he is storing in some variable. Think like that. And he is returning the value to, value to us. But all this information he is going to that is nothing but abstraction. So this abstraction, we can provide two types of abstraction. The first one is the members or field abstraction, we can call it as. So we can say members or fields. And second one is method, method abstraction. So if you are hiding the information about the method, then it is known as method abstraction. If you are going to hide the information about the fields or variables, then it is known as members or fields abstraction. So we do this one practically for that I'm creating a new class here. So now right click on the project and add a class. Now here, I'm taking the class name as abstraction example. Dot CS. As is well, just I'm adding your main method here. Static white, then main. So now, for example, here. I'm creating an object to this class, any class. Here we have a class, nothing but 10. So I'm creating an object to the class 10. How we are creating 10 object equal to new 10. Right? Now, otherwise, just let me create a new class for you to avoid confuse. Just delete this. Now I'm taking here class. Class name is then text example 
right now here took two variables so int a equal to 10 and then b equal to this now here i'm taking a public metal public wide this is do it okay and i'm taking another private method also wide addition no this is now here what i'm doing i'm printing a message like addition is we are getting from a plus b this a plus b now assume that this class is implemented by someone and just you are using you in the sense you are creating an object to the class so here the class name is text text example and the object is equal to text example now when you press object dot you can see only the public members right you are calling the do it method and to stay back the screen you are using your console dot read or read like before running this just change the startup to our class name is abstraction example this okay now run this you get the output like addition is 25 so here nothing is there so here call this one addition now this time you can get the output like addition is 25 but now if you observe think this class was implemented by someone and you know the only the name of the class now we are using that class so first what we need to do we need to create an object so we created an object now with the with that object we have only one method that is nothing but do it method but internally once you go to the respective method in the sense here what we are doing we are calling another method from the do it method in the same way we are using here two variables in the sense we are hiding the implementation of this method and these variables so far maybe we have seen this logic so many times but the concept is this is known as abstraction so hiding the implementation so what is the necessary information those information only we are sharing to the end user end user in the sense here who is using that class so the other things like this addition method and these variables we are not sharing any information to that user that is nothing but abstraction so once again very simple what is abstraction nothing but hiding the implementation is known as abstraction and here we can provide two types of abstraction the first one is the members of field abstraction and the second one is a method abstraction so for another example here we work with the array list right so here i'm taking the array list so array list then create an object a equal to new array list so you know before working with the collection what we need to do we need to import the namespace so here you need to add the namespace okay to add the namespace here i'm going to hint like a shortcut to add the respect to namespace here once you right click see this here it is showing an error because it is available actually in system.collections so that namespace is not imported that is why it is showing error to us so right click on this and here we have resolved then using system.collections automatically it adds the respect to namespace that is the first way otherwise just keep the focus on the respective class or variable then what you need to do here press control and dot hold the control key then press dot you will get the list of uh, respective namespaces or classes just click that it will add to the namespaces 
right? This is the shortcut way to add the namespaces. Now here, which is the object we have add method. So what exactly this add method will do? It adds a value to the collection, right? But how the add method was implemented? So there is no way to know how this method was implemented. But we are going to use this one. We are getting the end output, but there is no mechanism to know the process and the implementation about this method. This is nothing but abstraction, right? So hope you understood about this one. Tomorrow in next video, we are going to learn about encapsulation. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and do subscribe our channel. See you tomorrow with a new concept. Happy coding.